The Duke has been waiting all week for this one. Get ready, folks. The opening kickoff is finally here. Sends it sailing downfield. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. So let's see what the offense can do as they come out onto the field. to the tailback and he's met in the backfield. If these defenders continue to exploit the O-line like that, it's going to be a long day for this running back. Second and 12 coming up here. Ball on the 23-yard line. Number eight, he intended to see more on the play. Third down. Around the 34 yard line. That's a game of 12 on the play. That'll bring up fourth and one. They get this one off, and it's a beauty. And down he goes to the 26 yard line. Blue Devils have shown over the course of the season that they want to get this guy to football, but you can't just go to him every play. Well, on the road, you especially want to take the crowd out of the game, and the one guy you know who can do it is this wide receiver. The problem you have is this defense, more often than not, is going to be aligned to take him out of the game. And that, to your point, Brad, that's where somebody's going to have to step up, whether it's the running game, some of the other receivers. You're going to have to take some of the pressure off of him and really make it a team effort to be able to win this game on the road. It's second and ten. Ball on their own 26. And he's hit immediately. The quarterback and his receiver make a great play here and convert on an early down. Let's go one more. And they make the stop at about the 47-yard line. That's Terrific game. execution by the entire offense that to make that run work and to get the third down conversion. They go back to him on a quick throw, and they push him out to 39-yard line. That's great execution. Quarterback made a nice throw, and the receiver was able to go up and make the play. complete and he's hit right away. What is going on with this defense? I mean, don't get me wrong, the offense is doing a nice job with first downs and they're executing well, but the defense is just letting them maintain possession and move the ball right down the field. They've got to try to change things up with their speed. Be more aggressive, attack. Do some things to change it up. Take some risks. Quick pass. You can tell he's got a lot of faith in his wide receivers. Even when he's a little bit off target, they can pull it in and make something happen. He's taken down at about the 11. He is such a reliable target. You throw it anywhere near him, and this guy's going to get his hands on it and make a catch. And he carries the ball for a nice game. That brings him second and five. Brought down at the four. They 
bring him down in the backfield. Ouch. Pretty big loss on the play, and I think they might want to reassess the strategy here. Perhaps run a screen. Maybe hit the tight end on a short pattern. This D-line is just a bit much to handle at this moment. So it's fourth down. This should be an easy field goal. Duke could take the lead with this field goal. Kicks up, and the field goal is good. And you got to think they're pretty happy with holding them to a field goal right there. And it looks like they're ready for the kickoff. Excellent kick. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. Duke's really got things working right now for him. I can't think of a better start. Well, that's exactly the way they had hoped to see this game go. I mean, anytime you can start the game with a stop, get your offense out there, they move the ball down, put points on the board. Now it's just more about trying to maintain what they've already created. Tries to scramble, but he's sacked. That's a loss of three yards on the play. That, that brings, brings up, up second, second and 13. 13. So it's second down and 13 yards to go following that quarterback sack. New Mike 52, Mike 52. Let's go! Green 88. And he's tackled at the 20 yard line. Call it a loss of two yards on the play. That makes it third and 15. Four down, four down. Hey, Mike 52, Mike 52. Right Here comes the pressure. Throws it and oh, he dropped it. Boy, Brad, this guy drops an interception. And what's ironic about that from going to the meetings the other day is that this guy's been telling the coaches he wants to play some wide receiver. You wonder why you're not playing wide receiver? Because you can't catch the ball as a defensive back. It's away and it's a booming punt. He's taken down at the 47. It's a new possession for this offense, so what will it hold? A quarterback in the gun with five receivers. He's out of bounds at the 48. That brings him second in Duke is up by three. Straight up the middle, and he'll lose yardage. Third down, and they need to get it inside the 43. As a man, he'll lose big yards. I don't know what game plan this offense is running. But it might need to be reassessed by this coaching staff. Oh, excellent punt. This punt bounces into the end zone, and this will be a touchback. Got to wonder right now which offense is going to open this thing up a little bit. I think the answer will be which offensive coordinator is willing to take a chance or two to try to open some plays up. Because right now, not only are they losing the battle up front, but they're really not testing the defense downfield at all. And he throws it away. Even though they didn't sack him, the pressure was still enough to force a bad pass. If you can get in there and disrupt the pocket, then the quarterback is going to have a tougher time getting the ball to his playmakers. Second and ten. Ball on their own 20. Flares it and it almost had it intercepted. That could have been a huge shift in momentum if they were able to hold on to that one. Wow, that was close. That'll do it. Very good first quarter of action. The Blue Devils with a three-point lead. Back to the action here in the second quarter. It's been a good one and a tight one at this point. He really got a hold of that one. 
Well, that was a great punt, and there was even better coverage on the return. With one quarter down, I really haven't seen too much separation between these two squads. Might be neck and neck the whole way. Duke holds a field goal lead. And he's level at the 43. Very solid gain through the air. I'm impressed with the poise of this quarterback and the ability of the receiver to keep his concentration and get his hands on the football. Up the middle for a nice game. Just throws this one away. The defense got some pressure and forced a bad pass. I think they've been a little bit more aggressive here with their pass rush, and that time it paid off with an incompletion. From their own 48-yard line, second down. And they got him. Brad, not only did they give up a sack here, but their quarterback just got hit and hit hard. If I'm an offensive coordinator, especially an offensive line coach, I'm getting a hold of my offensive line, making sure these guys are on the same page, and they've got to take more pride in taking care of their quarterback than that play right there. And they're going to put six DBs on the field to counter that five-receiver look. He's going to air it long. Intercepted. And he is drilled at the seven. I really like this corner's ability to read the play. He shows very good football smarts and pretty good hands, too. They line up at the seven. First down. There's a very impressive open field tackle. I'll tell you something. I'm loving this quarterback's confidence more and more as this game goes on. He's really throwing the ball with some purpose. the 27-yard line. From their own 27-yard line. Second down. Got an opening. Inside the 30. The 10. He scores. What a play. Almost impossible pass to defend, and it goes for six. Yep, the defense would have needed 12 guys on the field that time. <laughs> and he tacks on the extra point. With a three-play, 93-yard drive, and they come away with seven points. You know, you always prepare your offense to think that we're going to have some success. These guys got to be coming over the sidelines after touchdown, after touchdown, saying, I didn't expect it to be this easy. So the score now, 7-3. The Blue Devils have got to find a way now to get the football in this guy's hands. And I think about basketball players and a jump shooter. If you can't get him the, the ball, get him to the free throw line and get him one free one from 15 feet. Or... I agree with you 100%. I mean, and this is one of those games where the defense has just been suffocating. They've taken this wide receiver out of the game. Uh, this offense has not been able to come up with some answers. I would continue to fight as an offense coordinator and a play caller to find different ways to get this receiver a touch. And all it takes, Brad, as you said, is just one play to maybe create that spark and get this confidence established for this offense. And he's knocked out immediately after the catch. First down. Going deep. In the air. It's intercepted. 
And down he goes to the 37-yard line. From their own 37-yard line, first down. Miami is up by four. They give to the tailback. Tackle around the 37-yard line. That's a great play by the defense. There's nothing like a defense being able to slip off of a block, get into the backfield of the offense, and then make a play in the backfield to be able to create some momentum, possibly, for this defense. And as he throws, and this one's going to be intercepted. And he's taken down at the 48-yard line. He didn't throw it away under pressure, and it really cost him. It sure did. He saw that he was going to get hit and just threw one up for grabs. He's got to learn to take the sack. From the 48-yard line, it's first down. Tries to buy some time. They bring him down. That's a loss of seven yards. That'll make it second and nine. the catch but just not enough for the first yeah they're gonna come up a little bit short here nice job by the defense of preventing this completion from turning into a first down and they could really put their opponent in bad field position with a good punt here he punts no he won't and they'll take over on downs in a game that's this close you can't afford to waste possessions Miami holds a four-point lead Quick throw, incomplete, one of his receiver. Second down, 10 yards to go. Ball on the 40. He goes out of bounds, right around the 42-yard line. It's all about chipping away at the defense. Even short yardage completions can have a way of building a quarterback's confidence. Throwing left. And they're going to have to bring on the punt team. Great hold by the defense. They were expecting the pass play, and they defended it very well. He puts it away, and it's a great kick. They'll bring him down at the 16. I just love to watch this defense play. They've been flying all over the field today, making big play after big play. The crazy thing is, we still have such a close game despite how well they've played. Momentum swings have been fairly even. And with so little separation, this game can be drastically changed on just one or two plays. Goes over the middle, intercepted. Tackle made at the nine. Good job to pick that ball off. He did a great job at getting in that passing lane and coming away with the ball. First down, and they've got their eyes on that goal line. He's tackled at the eighth, and he gets a yard on the run. The Hurricanes will use their first time out of the half. Miami is up four. Scrambling around. Slides down. Picks up five on the scramble. If they can get it in here, it'd make it a two-score game. It's third and goal. Look 
Looks to the end zone and is caught. Touchdown. And he hits the PAT. So a short three-play, nine-yard drive. And come away with a touchdown. Looks like they're ready for the kick. He kicks it off, and he got all of that one. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. The offense will take the field, hoping for a better result than their last drive. The game is in danger of getting out of hand early. It's very, very important that they not only hang on to the football in this drive, but they also need to get a score on the board as well. They get to the quarterback and end that play before it even got started. This young man didn't even have a chance to make something happen. It's tough to find your receivers when the defense is in your face like that. Pulls it in and stopped in his tracks with that tackle. Nothing going on that play. Well, here I think the quarterback needs to be a little bit more patient in the pocket. That way he can allow his receivers to get downfield a little bit before he throws it. And he's tackled after positive yardage. Didn't fool the defense at all. They dropped him before he had a chance to get close to the first down. Booming kick. He's to the 40. Gets to about the 41-yard line. The Hurricanes took a while to get their offensive engine running. That baby's running smooth right now. You know, the offensive coordinator told us this week that they sometimes will start off a little bit slow because they're just kind of throwing out their different plays and formations. And then once they get a feel for how the defense is playing them, then they feel more confident that they can attack. And that's what we've seen so far today. Feeling the pressure, and he fumbles the football. He's taken down around the 36-yard line. complete he's got room to work brought down at the 41 yard line five yards not a bad play they gain five yards out of it and they keep moving the defense back he fires this one throws complete he's got space to work he's all the way touchdown He's rung up three touchdown tosses in the half. This quarterback is going to continue to tear him up until they get some pressure on him. He makes the PAT. A short three-play, 57-yard drive, and a touchdown as a result. Everyone's all lined up and ready for the kickoff. Sends it sailing downfield. And they can forget about returning this one. Things are on the verge of getting out of hand before we even hit the half. These next few drives are going to go a long way in determining what kind of game this will end up being. Duke's going to have to use their second time out of the half. They need about three yards to get the first here on second down. Check 59, Mike. Mike is here. Check 89. They'll make the sack. Absolutely perfect call by the defensive coordinator. He brought just the right amount of pressure from the right direction, and it seemed to confuse the offense. Well, we've played a half of football. Miami's up by 18. Glad to have you with us in the studio for the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 Halftime Show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. Reese Davis and David Pollock here completely locked in on that first half. That first half is not going to go on anybody's Hall of Fame resume. Look, when you have a team that is favored as heavily as this one, and when you're making the kind of money that coaches do, and I hate to bring money into it, you've got to get your team ready to play. 
this coaching staff didn't do it. These guys aren't ready to go. Well, I, I don't know how else we put the blame. I mean, coaches obviously put players in posi positions to be successful, and it doesn't look like they've been in any position to be successful today. And the money is what it is, and the coaches have to find a way to, to spark their team, to light a fire. they got to get some drives and put it together. How about a defense? This defense looks like Swiss cheese. There's so many holes in it. I mean, my goodness, they got to find something that works. You do put it on the coaches. The coach have to, coaches have to know this. And by the way, Reese, you're better. You're a better team than the other side, so you should not you should never be losing like this. That's it for us here in the studio. What are you going to do in the second half while the game's going on? Yeah, I'm going to kick back and watch all these monitors. We'll keep you up to date on everything going on around the country right now. Time for the second half with Brandon Kirk. Welcome back, everybody. Second half action about to begin. He really got a hold of that kick. And it sails out of the end zone for a touchback. The Hurricanes continue to get it done on the defensive side of the football, Kirk. Yeah, they've done a good job of building this lead and almost determined here to protect it. Let's see if they can hold on here for the rest of the way. There's got to be some sense of urgency to this offense right now. They don't have the luxury of wasting drives if they want to get back in the game. He's on the run. And he's tackled at the 35. Good game there on the quarterback scramble. You know, I really liked the decision to tuck it and run here. He waited and found no one open, so instead of throwing it away, he just took it upfield for himself. Nice gain as he works the right side. That makes it first and ten. Three down, three down. Check 59. And they make the stop at around the 44-yard line. And the linebacker comes up and makes a big stop. This is textbook. This is how you're supposed to play against the run. Quick throw. They'll bring him down at the 46. Call the game of 10 yards. First down. Aaron and out long. Oh boy, almost intercepted. That was a nice play. Anything you can do without being penalized to prevent the offense from moving forward is always a plus. Second and 10. Ball on the 46-yard line. Five guys will be out in the pattern as they're in the shotgun. Would have been a big play by the defense. He can't hold it. Here's the eighth play of the series. Third down. He's in trouble. Throws this one out to the left. And it's incomplete. Number three, the intended receiver on the play. That'll make it fourth and ten. Try to change the field position with his kick. Oh, excellent punt. So this one goes into the end zone, and that'll be a touchback. They'll take over here, ready to start a new series. Setting up play action. And down he goes at the 33. First and 10. Ball on the 33 yard line. He gets rid of this one. And he sacked. The defenders played the snap count perfectly. He found the path into the backfield and didn't let the quarterback get away.
And this one is a beauty. And down he goes at the 30-yard line. You know they'd like to do something a little more than they did on their last drive when they had to punt the ball away. If they're going to make a comeback in this game, it's going to have to start now. This offense has to get rolling. Gets it out quickly. Tackle at the 47-yard line. Not a safe pass at all. Really tight coverage and not a lot of room. Credit the receiver with going after that one and hanging on. Here's the throw, and I don't think he got anything on that. That's good for a gain of three yards. That makes it second and six. Mike is 59. Mike is 59. Easy, easy, kill, kill. Tries to thread the needle, and it's not going to work. He's at the 40. He's at the 30. To the 10. He's all the way home. Touchdown. Man, that was a super play by the defender. Excellent interception and an even better return for the score. And he adds the extra point. Miami is lining up to kick this one off. Nice kick, plenty of distance. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. The Blue Devils have just gone ice cold on offense. They can't seem to get anything going. Well, and right now, they just have to forget the score, forget the clock. Just go out there and try to get a first down. Try to hope to build a little bit more confidence and continuity on this offense. Check 59, Mike. Let's go! Got his man. Can't tack on any yardage. That'll bring up second and three. Quickly, and he's got his man, and he's taken down at the 44. First down. Check 59, Mike. Mike is 59. Mike to 59. Fires out to his receiver. Tackle made at the 41. Number three with the tackle at the 41 yard line. First down. Blue! Blue seven! And he's going to lose big yardage. He's tackled immediately after the catch. Second down, 15 to go. Ball on the 46. Throws to the receiver, and he's got it again. He's tackled at the 30. Number 22 Let's with go. the tackle at the 30 yard line. That, that makes, makes it first, it first and, and 10. 10. Yeah. 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 Got it. And he goes down quickly. He ran a good route there and was able to pick up yards underneath the coverage. It's okay to move the ball in small portions because it relaxes the offense and can open things up for the big play. Pressure got to him and he put it on the ground. And they fall on the loose ball. This is the eighth play of the drive. He heaves it deep. Oh, he had a shot at the pick. They call on the kicker for a long field goal. He gets it up, and it's long enough. No good. He hooked it right. We're about set to start things up again. Tight right, tight right. Four 
Miami in control. Throws, and that one's going to hit the ground incomplete. Second down, 10 to go. Ball on their own 38. Throw to the tight end, and he's hit before he can go anywhere. Gain of three on the play. That'll bring up third and six. Tight end right. Tight end right. Four down. Four down. By fifty-two. Set. Wide open. Wide open. He drops it. Number eighty, the intended receiver on the play. That'll make it fourth and six. He really got a hold of that one. This punt goes over the goal line, and this will be a touchback. I got to give this defense credit, Kirk. Brad, I don't know what the heck's going on with this offense. They just haven't been able to come away with anything. Not a whole lot's been working for them so far. They should just come out and play loose and easy because they've got nothing to lose. Just throws this one away. From their own 20-yard line. Second down. Now he's scrambling. And they push him out at about the 31. Resume action here in the fourth quarter. We'll hope for some action because so far it's been a lopsided one. Catches it and hit immediately for a loss. From their own 26-yard line, it's third down. Throws out, got his back again. They bring him down in the backfield. The screen pass goes nowhere. Well, you're going to take your hat off to the defense. All week, they preached over and over again how they were not going to let this kid use his speed in the open field, and they really shut him down that time. It's away, and it's a booming punt. Not a lot of yards of offense from either one of these teams. Yeah, no doubt about it, Brad. The one thing that's good, at least one of these teams has been opportunistic. They seem to get points every time they can. Both teams are playing out the stretch here. You want to get experience for guys who normally don't get in the game and try to avoid injuries. Miami looking to put this game away if they score here. Through his hands. Second down and ten to go. Ball on their own 33. Here we go. Throws out and through his hands. Throws into a crowd, and this one's going the other way. Interception. Room around the corner. The 10. He's taken down at the 8. 
Yeah, a mistake like this by a quarterback, even with a big lead, is not going to make the head coach happy. When he walks over to the sideline, he's going to feel the wrath of his head coach and offensive coordinator for throwing that ball into coverage. First down, and they've got their eyes on that goal line. Four down, four down. Check 59. Mike, Mike is 59. Mike is 59. He scrambles. Decides to take it himself, and he's got it. Touchdown. The defense let the quarterback scramble in for the score. The defense had the offense beat there initially. It took a great run to get that in. And he hits the PAT. Free kick, kick out, out of bounds. bounds. Kicking, Kicking team. team. So the offense will take over with pretty good field position. The onside kick down. just wasn't successful there. The kicker really didn't give his guys a chance to make a play. And the offense will take the field, and they're certainly hoping to do better than they did in their last drive, which ended with a turnover. This quarterback can make good passes. He just needs to focus on not forcing the ball to his receivers. Brought down right around the 30. Nothing going on that play. Well, here I think the quarterback needs to be a little bit more patient in the pocket. That way he can allow his receivers to get downfield a little bit before he throws it. From the 30-yard line, second down. They'll give it off here. He makes it out to maybe the 29-yard line. This one out to the right. Throws quickly into the end zone. Caught for the touchdown. Great effort by the wide receiver. And not to take anything away from the quarterback, but the wide receiver made this play. Converts the extra point. Looks like they're ready for the kick. Excellent kick. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. I don't expect any once-in-a-lifetime rallies here, but that being said, we could still see some exciting plays. receiver and he's tackled at about the 37 yard line that's a game of six on the play first down less than three minutes in the game throws a bullet over the middle and they make the stop around the 49 yard line first down And he tackles him hard at the 40. Nice pickup as they connect on the pass play. Well, they look to be in sync right now. They're both reading the defense properly, and the result is a nice game. Easy, easy, easy. Zipped it out, and that was almost picked off. Short yardage situation here. It's third and one. They'll bring him down at the 28-yard line. Oh. 
He lets it fly. Nice catch, first down. He's knocked out. That makes it first and goal. And he's hit immediately. Call it a gain of four yards. Roger, Roger. That Check brings him second and goal. Mike. Mike is 59. Mike is 59. Here we go. Here we go. And he hits him hard at the three. That's a gain of two. That makes his third and goal. Just under two to go in the game. Touchdown, Blue Devils! The halfback just plowed his way into the end zone. Yeah, but it wasn't all him. The offensive lineman just pancaked the defense on that one. And he tacks on the extra point. So an 11 play, 75 yard drive. And it's good for seven points. Taken down at the 44-yard line. Brad, this is my kind of game. I love seeing this kind of production and the way these quarterbacks are playing. Both teams are challenging both of these defenses. They moved the ball very effectively on their last drive, which ended with a touchdown. The defense has been talking it over on the sideline, trying to make some corrections. Let's see if they can stop them this time. As long as this quarterback has time to throw, and you can guarantee that he'll find the open man. Second down, and they're gonna need about three yards to pick up the first down. Around the 28-yard line. On the ground with the tailback. He's gobbled up in the backfield. That brings up second and 13. So that's going to do it. Our final score in this one, Miami 35, Duke 17. So that wraps things up for us. Free A Sports and Kirk Herbstreit. I'm Brad Nessler saying thanks, and we'll see you next time.